Pablo Strex here, and we're talking Legion weapons. So we're talking talking artifact weapons. There is the Argus Scythe, which is kind of cool. Um, Abramar's Blade Tashalak, pretty cool. So those would be on the list, but I really wanted to talk about my favorite artifact weapon appearances. And some of these aren't obtainable anymore. I normally like to keep it too obtainable. Would I love to see some of these return and be obtainable? Yeah, as someone who has them, bring them back in some way. Let people earn them again. You know? The game's about cosmetics. Some of them should be opened up. Like our first one here, which is the hidden appearance for Warrior. I just, I really like this shield compared to the other shields for Prot. You know, and then the, the flail here, the warrior flail. Um, so this is my favorite flail, by the way. The paladin one is all right, but this one is my favorite. It's got the bone, and uh, only warriors can use it. I do need to unlock some other colors for sure, but this is definitely my favorite warrior weapon. Now, as for fury and arms, some of those are really cool, but I mean prot. And this one was my favorite here. Um, but now let's take a look at Rogue. So I got two showing here. This is my favorite outlaw weapon look. The Thunder Fury hidden appearance is really good too. I like the base dread blades as well. Dread blades were super cool. This again is the Mage Tower one that was removed. I just think it it was a really different look from the normal dread blades. So, I thought that was good. But the hidden one being the Thunder Fury one is also really good. And then this is the Assassination one. Now, I believe this is PvP? I mainly only know... Because there's PvP, Balance of Power, the Upgraded, the Base, the Hidden, and then the Mage Tower. All right, so there's six. So, it's one of them. And then for Demon Hunter, of course I picked the, the removed one, the lightsaber blades. This is the Mage Tower one again. Um, all of the Havoc ones look pretty good to me, but this one's got to be my favorite. And for Vengeance... Uh, one of the ones I really like was the PvP one, which looks like the Fell Lord, like the bony Fell Lord one. That was one of my favorites too. But this was my favorite overall Warglaive, and of course it's the removed one. I do hope it comes back because this one's really unique, for sure. Freaking lightsaber glaives, almost super good. All right, and then for DK, this one was this was easily my favorite. Apocalypse has some good ones. The Axe has some good ones. Uh, I don't, I'm not a real fan of the Frost one. The, the dual wielding Frostmourne blades. And of course this is the hidden one. I just loved it with this set. It was super good. I do hope they bring this back. This is the only color, but this is also the only color I wanted. And you got the glowing eyes, you got the runes in the blade, you got the the bones. This is Apocalypse to me. Alright. So I had to pick it. Now this one is the Balance of Power one. This is the whole quest line with Kalik and going through the raids. And I just really like this Ashbringer. I have another Paladin one I want to show too. But I really like this Ashbringer. It was really cool. This one is my favorite Ashbringer one. For sure. Just the flaming blade. So. There's that. And then for Hunter. This was a ch tough choice. Because I like the. I like the Mage Tower one. Which was the, the plant. Um, also like the gun. But I was thinking about it. And this one. Is one I would use more because it's a really good bow. This bow has a freaking dagger on it. You got this cool hawk. You got this blade here. This is a bow that you use as a weapon as well. 
And then the Sylvanas bows come with a quiver, which is super awesome. As far as transmog for hunters, it's the only way to get like a quiver on your back other than the Sylvanas quiver uh, from Shadowlands. So I had to shout out one of the bows and this one was my favorite. Uh, and then for Druid, of course, I picked the Remove Staff. Hold on. Stop. Get it. Oh. So, of course, I picked the Remove Staff. But it was so cool. Like, there's the Lightsaber Moonkin Blade. There, Like, I do like the Scythe of a Loon a lot. I like the... One where it's like wooden and then like a, a big stone moon like stuck on with the roots. I thought that one was cool. But I just, I use this owl a lot and it's a really cool owl. And it, it is very night elfy, but it's also tauriny. Like we've seen multiple factions use the owl. So I just really like... How many different people could use this as well, Druid-wise? It works super good. Even though it does have, like, Night Elf Sentinel vibe as well. It just... We see Onara, you know, so... I just think this works really well. Alright, so for Shaman, I picked the Hidden Weapon Appearance. This is from Eye of Ashara, if you don't know. And it gives you... The Scepter of Ashara is the Water Weapon, the Resto Weapon... And then to get this, like, snake, naga, it's a little dragony too. And then you got these eyes floating around. I just really like this look. I really like this serpent look for this, especially since who, who's wielding the weapon, you know, Ashara and whatnot. And there's a couple, couple different colors. There's, like, a blue one and whatnot, but... This one is my favorite for most of Shaman. The elemental weapon is kind of cool. The glowing shield is kind of cool. Um, and then Doomhammer has some really cool appearances. Like, one of the cool ones for the Doomhammer is the fact that you can use the offhand now in main hand. And you can literally wield, like, ice hammers or glowy ghost troll hammers or just glowy elemental hammers it's just like really cool what you can do with doom hammer as well but this one was my favorite overall even though i i do like a lot of the looks doom hammer can pull off and now for mage mage has a lot of really cool interesting stabs and then the flame sword when you have the orbs above you which i don't know if that works anymore um at least not showing here uh, that had some good ones, but the sheep staff. The sheep staff is so good. It literally turns into a sheep head. And this is the hidden appearance. You can do like a little sheep quest line to get this bad boy. It's just super good. I like it. It's simple, uh, but it really fits the arcane aesthetic. You know? It's the shepherd's staff. But yeah, so that one was my favorite mage one. But there, mage has a lot of good ones. Like it was, I was looking through all the stats, and I was like, a has got some good ones. Freaking Ebon Chill has some really crazy looking good ones. And I'm glad they opened up Balance of Power. Now, when you complete Balance of Power, you get all the artifacts across all the classes. So, say if there's a class you haven't played yet, load them up, get your overhaul unlocked, get that artifact unlocked. You just unlocked a ton of. Uh, of uh, appearances right there boom once you do the balance of power now it's account wide it's it got me a ton of appearances it was great when that went account wide and then for paladin i brought up another one that's the special shield the one that goes with the flail but i'm i wasn't the fan of the flail uh over this sword i really like this broken sword this is from pvp that has this the sword is light itself it's a paladin that sword broke and they were like you know what i believe it's not broken and then you're just wielding the light as a sword the light is your weapon 
It just looks super cool to me. Now, Monk, a lot of the fist weapons look good. Not on a gnome. Shailun has a lot of cool looks. I was just looking at really cool. But the thing about Fuzan, the Brewmaster Staff, and I wish it would show here, but it's not, is the fact that this is on a chain and it literally dangles around when you use it. It's just dangling all over the place. And out of all the looks, um, I do like the, the, the Mage Tower one, but I believe this is the PvP one. And I think this, this one was my favorite because look at how big this bucket is. And then you got these spikes. This would hurt. And you got this bull here. This thing would hurt to get smacked with, man. And then I, I like how you carry the Brewmaster one like this. I wish you could we could have that option for everybody. You know? Oh, man. I just, I really like that about the monk weapon. Alright, we got two more left. Warlock. I picked the hidden, I, I picked the artifact, I, I picked the mage tower one. A lot of these were good. The stays were good. Um, if, and if, here's the thing. I would have picked the hidden demonology one with the floating head. The, the dagger with the floating head is my favorite artifact weapon for Warlock. But the El Eridar one, the one with the actual Draenei head floating there talking to you, that one is my favorite. But the head doesn't show up anymore at least on this screen for me. So I couldn't really show it off. But that one is my real favorite. This is my number two. This scythe, just looking at it more, it's... It's so freaking crazy. This is like frozen demon blood, hardened demon blood. It looks like the skull's like, ah, and then just blood spike. Like what even happened here? It looks so cool though. I don't understand it. I don't understand how it works, but it is terrifying and cool. For warlock right there for a soul reaper right here i need to get more colors all right and then for priest i was debating i really like the stained glass version of this staff as well you know the dis the discipline staff lights wrath has a lot of good looks the holy staff with the naru also has some crazy good looks but if we're going based on which one I like the look of most, I really like the Mage Tower one. And it fits so well with the Antorus set. And well, this is the PvP one for Horde. But it just fits so well and looks so good. I, ha I had to pick it. And then you got this cool glowing effect. You got the, the black wings. You got this shield. This part looks great. This is a cool staff and definitely my favorite one. But I I did have a uh, a lot of these were hard choices. You know. And this is the first one where I have removed appearances. Um but if you haven't gotten an artifact weapon from Legion Transmog, I would start grabbing some for classes you haven't. Legion has some of the best weapon transmogs and has some unique effects like with the brewmaster one i really we have seen more flails be added so that's good i really hope we get more and honestly i'm fine if we people can earn these removed ones again i don't mind you know i think it's fine but yeah those are my favorite weapons of legion uh, hope you enjoyed. Next week's will be BFA. And that will be interesting. Anyways, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.